Go. I'm Coach Frigon with the Liberty Blue Jays. I'd like to thank you all for coming out today uh, with our weekly press conference. This past week we played Blue Springs. Um, this past Friday we lost 38-21 to against a really good Blue Springs team and uh, came away from the game with a lot of things we know we need to get better at before this next week with our Rockers game. Then also found some positives and in um, some parts of our game and that we ran, how we ran the ball and how well our defense did well for quite a few of the snaps against uh, against Blue Springs. So um, going into this week, we, like I said, we play Rockers and uh, we're kind of gearing our practice to start building on some of the things we did well and eliminating some of those mistakes that have hurt us these past few weeks. I'd like to go ahead and open it up for some questions. Yes. Well, I think when you look at uh, Blue Springs is, you know, they have all the, the, you know, the state and national type rankings and things, and they're very well deserving of those things. They have some, they do a great job with their kids and have some great players. And um, we looked at the game as a whole. Uh, they're taking away some of the things we did well. We felt like we played very physical and that we were able to um, run the ball better than we have in the past against them. And uh, our defense was out on the field too long. We know that we talked about as a staff that, you know, we needed some key first downs and some things, you know, we had a couple turnovers in that first half that put our, left our defense on the field. And if we could have converted those, we felt like it would have helped them out a lot um, in terms of getting a little break in that half that eventually wore them out where they scored quite a few points in the third quarter. So looking at going into Rockers, Rockers is a very similar team um, in terms of us being big and physical, very well um, disciplined team. And, and uh, when you watch Phil and them, they look a lot like a lot of the Rockers teams that we've played in the past, um, just um, solid across the board. So we know that we're not going to be able to make some of those same mistakes that we made this past week against Blue Springs if we want to be successful this week against Rockers. Yes? What changes are going to be made to not have such a tough loss this week? Well, I think when you look at – we knew going into our schedule during this time is very challenging schedule. and. Uh, the biggest thing, we were negative four in turnovers last week. We had two interceptions and two fumbles. And um, we know that you know, against good teams, you can't do that. And we have game goals that we go into every week is one to outrush our opponent, which we've done every time this year. And uh, win the special teams is another one, which our special teams played extremely well this past week. We executed another fake punt. We had good, um, uh, had good net on our punt teams. We covered well within our kicking game and uh, limited their returns. So we were really pleased with our kicking game and have been really all year. This, this group has really bought into special teams, and we have some kids like Alex Jimenez and Jacob Zimmerman that continue on our special teams to do a really good job and make that a part that we can win. But the final one is turnovers. And whereas last year we ended up plus 12 in the turnover margin, right now we're at negative two, and we were at plus two going into this game. And then um, had four turnovers this week. Blue Springs had some times they put the ball down, but they got it back, you know, and bounced back their way. And, uh, when we looked at those turnovers, um, you know, it wasn't necessarily on the fumbles being careless. It was people going for, you know, just fighting for yards, and they're a very aggressive defense. And, and um, so we're working daily to continue those things and, and um, you know, and throwing the ball, putting it in a position where uh, the defense can't make interceptions. So hopefully um, – you know, with the continued emphasis on that this week, that'll be something we can turn it around in our game against a very good Rockers team. Yes? Well, this past week, when you, you know, when you look at the stats, Devin Bryan had a huge rushing night, and um, I think he had 139 yards on around 10 carries. And on the season, he's, at, he's averaging over 10 yards per carry on the season. And uh, just, he battled a, an ankle injury during, I guess, weeks two through four, really, and is now getting back to full strength. And so he stood out. He had some big runs that sparked us. And David Graves also, I think he was in the, you know, in the 90s or something real close into, on his yardage and had some really tough runs where he ran some traps and um, traps and power plays up the middle. And just uh, we were really pleased with how those two were able to do that. Uh, Brady Newland had five catches for 100 yards, did really well with that. On defense – um, Tyler Baker, Devin Houston, uh, continue, Josh Shiable continue to just have a lot of tackles. And th those guys are doing a really good job for us. Uh, Damian Brown had one of his best games for us, just being active at defensive end and um, had some batted passes and um, you know did some things. And uh, Tanner Pendergrass had a quarterback pressure that was real big that got off a ball uh, on a third down that 
was a, you know, a big uh, play for us to get those down. And then we've been real pleased with our corners. Uh, Irvin Leonard and Kellen Turner, they have extremely talented receivers, and they really did a good job in their coverage and um, working with them. And we're pleased with them. And if nothing else, we're um, you know, looking at those individual performances, hopefully we can take that and get together as a better team performance this upcoming week. Yes? Over the course of the last few weeks, there's been uh, a lot of adversity with penalties against you guys. How are you guys going to adjust to that this next week? Well, you know, it's one of the we, two types of penalties. Are, you know, we look at them, there's a type where you play and they're aggression type penalties where, you know, maybe you're just a holding call or something like that. Uh, but then there's the unnecessary ones with personal fouls, which we had some the other night and quite a few. And it's something we addressed in practice with the team and the kids. And uh, it seemed to be something that escalated throughout the game. So I'm hoping that doesn't continue as, as we um, move on to our following games because obviously we can't um, be competitive and play well against teams when we have those type of fouls. So we addressed it with our team, and hopefully that's the end. Then there's the other type that are just the unnecessary penalties you know, things like illegal motion or illegal formations and things, which we had trouble with earlier in the season, which we seem to cut down on right now. So we're hoping that um, we can eliminate both of those types moving in and it'll help out throughout our game coming up. So um, that's been a big issue for us this year. And when we look at the types of penalties, we're hoping that we can cut down on both types of those as we move into this tough part of our schedule. Right, yes. You bet. With Rockhurst this week, they're, they're a team. They've played extremely tough competition. To start the year, they played the number one team, or I guess the number two team in Illinois, and then they played the number one team in Arkansas. Uh, after that, they played Blue Springs, who's the number one in Missouri, and then they beat the number one team in Kansas, Hutchison, and they're in, uh, 41-7. Last week, they beat Blue Springs South. So they've had a very challenging schedule and played great competition. When you look at them, they're a team that you, it's hard to find any weak spots on their, on their, on the field for them. They have very solid players across the board, um, very uh, talented, skill position players. Their quarterback is T.J. Green, is the son of Trent Green that played for the Kansas City Chiefs, um, and just a lot of skill players that come back. Ahmad Tyler is a uh, running back, corner receiver, just a great athlete that you see out there, and then just a very active defense and. Um, with Arbanis, who's um, he's a bloodline of the Kansas City Chiefs. He's a, with one of their line, their linebackers, just a great player. He plays plays the field, runs the ball extremely well, and he's surrounded by really solid players around him. So, I think when you look at their team, they are very um, very solid with not a lot of weak spots and very well coached and uh, give great effort every play. Yes. Well, we have not, not really major injuries, but we've had some injuries here and there that we've bounced back from, and I'm hoping we'll be at full strength this Friday night. Yes? Um, what's the greatest thing you want to see your team improve on through practice? Like, what do you think? Well, I think the biggest thing, uh, if we can cut down the mistakes that we've made in terms of penalties and turnovers, and we can play a better game that way, and um, I'm hoping that we can you know, make some big key plays to win the game. We're, our last two weeks have been tough, and that uh, Lee Summit made a huge play to beat – beat us in the very last uh, minute or so of the game. And then um, just uh, being able to work through some adversity, which we've had against some of these tough teams, and stay together as a team and come out and get a win. That's what we're looking for um, this upcoming week. So hopefully we can uh, improve on those things and practice this week, and that will carry over to our game this Friday. All right. Well, we're excited to play at home, and we, we, when our schedule comes came out, and we knew this last year because we started, we played four of our first five at home, and this year, just the opposite, one of our first five at home, and uh, we know toward the end here, we're going to have some home games, and uh, we're excited about it just to get back and uh, play in front of the fans here at Liberty and our student body, and do that. And I think the neat thing is we've had a great crowds on the road. I've been really proud of our fans, and um, you know, the community for traveling. You know, Lee Summit, Blue Springs, and some of the places that we've played. We've had some, you know, great uh, fan base and um, you know, packed visitor side, which is a great thing for our kids to do. So um, when we uh, finish out this year, we're hoping that will be something to help us finish strong with um, our remaining games that we have, uh, you know, with Park Hill being somewhat close to a home game. So that will be nice, too. Hopefully we can have a lot of fans come to that as well. Yes. 
I think I think any time I think the players appreciate the support that they have and play in front of. Uh, they like to play in front of their fans and their families and their students. You know that they go to school with. So I think it does add some excitement to the game. And we've noticed it at our away games too. You know, they, we uh, play in a conference of huge schools and they have great you know student bodies and um, full stands. So it's fun to play in front of those bigger crowds. I'd like to thank you all for coming today, and we'll see you next week.